Hey everyone, always Dizzy here. Um, before you watch this video, make sure that you've watched my previous video um, in this in this series. Um, in the first video, I give an overview of the woodpecker method and uh, explain how my first 74 hours with it went. Um, this video, as the title will um, describe, is as another update after 211 hours um, in. So I'm just going to be reading my notes on the other screen here so I don't forget anything that I want to talk about. So yeah, so my last video was four months ago. And that was, again, that was after 74 hours of the woodpecker method. Um, I'm not going to go over what I already talked about in the other video. Um, so again, you should watch that one if you haven't yet. Um, yeah, so 211 hours later, I will explain what I've done since then. So let me think here, where am I going here? Okay, so as a quick recap, um, in the first 74 hours, I kind of did the woodpecker a little bit differently. Um, I did each section as my set. So I did the easy section first as a set, and then I did cycle one, two, three, four, five. So I did like maybe five cycles of that. Then I proceeded to intermediate, just the first intermediate section, I call it intermediate A. Um, and I, I did that um, as a set. So I did like five or six, or I did actually maybe six or seven cycles of that. And then, sorry, <laughs> um, and then I did the same thing for intermediate two and intermediate three. Um, and then after that, so when I finished that video, I was on cycle, I was halfway through cycle one of intermediate three, and I was really struggling with it. It was very, very difficult. Um, and that ended up taking a very long time. Um, actually, I guess yeah, I will give an, yeah, I'll give an update of that right now then, because I, I don't have an update of that. So let me, let me go here. Um, so intermediate, intermediate C, let me open that up. So yeah, so when I finished that, I was halfway done cycle one, and this is how it finished. So the first cycle took me 20 hours. It was really difficult for me. Again, I'm very bad at tactics. Um, and I only had a 50, even though it took me so long, I only had 55% accuracy. Uh, cycle two was uh, f uh, was uh, about three, three hours quicker with a, <laughs> actually my accuracy went down. But and I won't I won't spend too much time on this, but you can kind of see that the the time really started to increase after that. By cycle four, I was already at at just under seven hours, and my accuracy jumped up a lot too. And by the time I finished it, cycle eight, I finished the whole thing in an hour or under an hour uh, with ninety five point five percent accuracy. So that's really a huge change from twenty hours um, to one hour. And I started in July. Uh, July 20th, and I finished in October 14th. Um, these are just the graphs for that intermediate C section. You can see the minutes just completely dropping um, and the accuracy conversely increasing. Um, and my uh, my leech chest rating for that time, you can kind of see here. And these are this is the cycle increase. Uh, I might know. No, my webcam's covering it up there, but yeah, my uh, cycle increase, cycle over cycle, sorry, the speed increase cycle over cycle, kind of over the map here, but some good improvements on the leader cycles. So what I did after that, sorry, there's just, okay. Um, what I did after that was after, since I completed each section individually as a set, then I decided to do all of them as as a set. So I did easy, intermediate, intermediate two, intermediate three, all as a set. Um, and since it was so long ago that I did the easy puzzles or the intermediate A, or even intermediate B, I really forgot a lot of them, if not, well, most of them, almost all of them. I, f I really forgot them. And I, I had, I, of course I had the concepts and uh, some of them, I remembered some of them a little bit, but they were really hazy. Um, and that's, that's funny because they were only, you know, three, like between two to four months old, um, most of them. So I really forgot them and I'll show you what happened. So that is uh, here. So I call this the fault, 
the oh yeah i i should mention i just want to i forgot to talk about this i decided to not do the advanced ones at least not yet um because intermediate three was so difficult for me i thought advanced and i've heard that you know title players even have a lot of difficulty with it i thought okay let's i'm just not going to do them even though i like to complete everything i decided to just do these as a set minus the advanced so that's what i did here um this is everything minus the advanced and yeah so my first cycle really took me a long time it took me 19 hours even though i was really fast on those before i hadn't done them for so long um and my accuracy was not very good 76 percent um so an average of one minute, nine seconds per puzzle. Um, if you fast forward to now, um, so that was, yeah, so I started on October 14th and it's now, as I make this video, December 3rd. Um, so I'm currently, I'm currently a quarter done cycle five of this complete set minus the advanced. And I've, I'm on track to complete it in four hours. Uh, or just over four hours so a huge improvement there so i actually i'm, I'm very happy with that with that time because like to be able to the ultimate goal of the book is to finish your set in one day and i'm well within that threshold i mean four hours so i can do the full i can do um 987 well okay i haven't hit that that's just a projected completion time but i think it will be around there if um in cycle four, I, I completed it in under six hours, but I should be faster in cycle five. But yeah, so that's it's um, about a thousand puzzles in in um, about four hours, and uh, that's an average time of fifteen seconds per puzzle. And if you consider if you consider that the average puzzle has maybe five moves on average, let's say, um, you know, and then you you have to it's not even like a single move, right? So it's like five moves. And uh, if you take three seconds per move, that'd be 15 seconds. So I don't even know if I can get much faster than 15 seconds, like even physically. Um, I, I do think I can get faster, but not much. There's not too much room to increase that, I don't think. My accuracy needs work. It's at 86%. Um, I know I could get it higher if I didn't try going so quickly. Um, but yeah, in future cycles, um, and I plan to do a lot more, like at least 10, at least 10, um, I would like to obviously get that much higher, at least 95% accuracy. Um, yeah, so what was I going to say? So before, while I said I wasn't going to do advanced since I'm so close to having like, you know, just done so much woodpecker once i reach cycle 10 or maybe 12 or 14 i might actually possibly decide to go back and do advanced by itself for you know maybe eight cycles and then include it again like start all over again with the full shebang um and just uh, do just do every single puzzle so i might do that i haven't decided yet i'm pretty scared of the advanced ones okay so with all that being said, what did this do for me? Um, am I a grandmaster? The answer is I've got two GM norms now. No, uh, uh, so uh, so the thing with woodpecker is it's really hard. Like, how can you tell? How can you tell if woodpecker ha um, made you better? Because I haven't only been doing woodpecker during this time. Um, I've been playing games and analyzing them. I've been practicing my openings. Um, this is the only course I've been doing this whole time, but still I've been playing games and analyzing them and working on my openings. Um, so it's hard to tell if my rating would have been increased without doing Woodpecker, just naturally from, from my other studies, or if it was in part due to Woodpecker. And I think there's really no way to know. Um, the only way to know would be if I cut out chess completely during this whole time and did only woodpecker and then went back to chess and then saw the difference. But I'm not going to do that. And I don't think anyone ever would. Um, so in that sense, I can't give a conclusive answer on how it helped me. Um, but I can say I think I play maybe just the tiniest bit differently now because 
I think I'm a little bit aware of a little bit more aware of tactics and possible tactics. Um, so if I'm playing a game, I might not even, I'm, I'm just a little bit more open to getting into positions that might be prone to having more tactics available um, to me. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. In some cases, in some cases, I think I've saw I've seen tactics in games that I previously might not have, thanks to Woodpecker. Um, but let me let me go to the ratings here. So if we just go back to the graphs here, um, if you look at this graph here, this is my lead chess rating. This is only for the advanced cycle. But if we look at where where I started four months ago with Woodpecker, which was the easy, um, we can see here that uh, my rating, my cl this is classical rating on Lee Chess, I started at 1983. And, and um, about uh, a week or two ago, I on, uh, yeah, I was, uh, sorry, I was uh, 2102. But again, it's hard to tell if that was thanks to Woodpecker or just other, you know, other general improvement ideas. But from 1983, um, that was May 2nd to 2102. Um, so that's the improvement there. Um, and this is, yeah, this is a graph here. I've had a little bit of dip, a little bit of a dip since then because I lost a few classical games since then. Um, and I just thought I would give you kind of a glance so you can see my other ratings as well. This is Lee Chess. So this is about, so about August. Yeah, this is about when I started. Oh, sorry, this is my improvement. Um, since my last video. So not since I started Woodpecker, this is my improvement since since my last video. Okay, so um, since my last Woodpecker video. So this is on Rapid. Wait, that's 2019. So never mind that, it's, it's, sorry. Uh, let's see, August is about here. So from here, from here on, that was my so twenty one twenty two on rapid. This is classical. Well, we already kind of discussed that, um, but the graph should be around here, August, around here from this point on. That has been my improvement since my last video. Um, and blitz, um, I don't play bullet. Um, uh, so blitz was around here. So I, I've set a, I've set a number of new personal bests on Blitz Rapid and Classical since my last Woodpecker update video. Um, so yeah, um, that's my update. I will probably give another video update if there's any interest for it. Um, and I will do that after I've pretty much when I'm getting either when I've like really mastered what I've learned so far and I can I can uh, maybe do it in like three hours or something and and where my accuracy is at least 95 percent um, and possibly I might maybe I won't do a video until I've added in the advanced ones as well let me where's my window here um, because uh, it'd be kind of nice to be able to do to be able to say that I can do the full woodpecker set um, cause it feels kind of bad that I haven't included those in, but anyways, that's my update. Let me know your thoughts, your comments. Um, how are you doing in Woodpecker? Do you think it has benefited you? Um, I, I think I'm on, like, I'm starting to get close to the end of Woodpecker where I've, uh, where I'm, I'm going to finally stop it and do a different course, which by the way, is going to be Devretsky's end game manual. And I might go crazy on that one as well. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.